everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet and we're playing some Zenosaga episode 3. This episode's probably going to be a little bit short. It's probably going to be mostly cutscenes. I can't remember exactly how long the cutscenes are. Might do a little bit of gameplay, but honestly, I'm pretty much at the perfect point to do some, like, off-screen grinding and crap. And I just want to get to that point, and then I realized I can't do that because I'm in the middle of a cutscene. So! <laughs> and, and it's like 12.30 at night, or morning. And I don't want to piss off my roommate, but I wanted to get this done. Ha! I'm sure this is fine. You know, you only got hordes of gnosis, you tick, and the Federation. This is probably fine. It's fine. Uriel said something is sleeping on Miktam. He didn't say some. Well, it, well yes, but your Yuri have said what that thing was, Zarathustra. Do you think it's related to the disappearance of the Zohar? Yuri have told you he said it's Zarathustra, and the subtitle of this game is Also Sprach Zarathustra, which I believe. Also, yes, my pronunciation is terrible. Hush. Means thus spoke Zarathustra or something like that. Captain, it's Ormus Mobile Weapons. They're headed this way. What? Ormus Mobile Fleet confirmed. They're surrounding us at a distance of 20,000 kilometers. Oh, it's not even close. You're sure you're fine. <laughs> In space it is. <laughs> Damn! Tony, take us down to Mikta! What? Are you serious? It's better than staying here. Hurry! He's not wrong. <laughs> you're all crazy. Hey, don't blame me if something goes wrong. We never blame Tony. Tony's too badass to blame for anything. <laughs> like, again, I'm just gonna freaking fly and surf on the edge of a freaking slipstream faster than light travel thing. I'm sure it's fine. Rude. <laughs> he yeeted one of his ships into another ship to crash it. That's rude. <laughs> What are you doing, Mardulus? Did you not hear my order to leave? My apologies, Your Eminence. But we cannot let our birthplace be destroyed by Gnosis. Yeah, he's... I mean... He's not gonna listen... Mardulus isn't gonna listen to you, Wilhelm. I mean, Heinlein. That's unimportant. <laughs> Everything has existed for this day. But Zarathustra is here. Without that, our dream of returning to lost Jerusalem to return to the land where our Lord sleeps cannot be fulfilled. Isn't that what you said? It's so funny, because this entire time they don't realize the chaos is pretty much their Lord. <laughs> Your Eminence. Functionally their Lord, yeah. It seems you've had a great misunderstanding. Ah, it's a hum. Yep. <laughs> Ayo. Great Lord Heinlein is Wilhelm of Vector because of course it is. What's up, bruh? Hi, Wilhelm. Yeah, fuck. Your Eminence, <laughs> is that what you look like? That's right. Are you surprised? You've served me well all this time, but it seems your faith was too strong. Overly strong faith clouds the eyes. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> you are no longer able to see what you should. But perhaps that is still good in its own way. Your Eminence. You probably don't know the origin of Ormus, so I shall tell you. Dun, dun, dun. Ormus was born approximately 6,000 years ago. It began from the death of the man you worship as your lord. Jesus. Officially, it existed to convey the man's existence to coming generations. They're literally talking about the Christian church and Catholicism, you know. But its true purpose was to manage the words he passed on. Lemegeton. The program you call Lemegeton is, in fact, those words. It's a failsafe installed by God that can cause this universe to dissipate. Again, they worship chaos without realizing they were worshiping chaos, sort of. There was, like, 
an actual messiah who wasn't chaos. But he but he's implied to have just been the face of the operation, whereas Chaos, and as we'll find out Mary Magdalene, were like the actual anima and animus power. God power or whatever. It's it's complicated! <laughs> Game, this game, this is fucking complicated. There we go. It appears the men you call your lord didn't know that. They're talk here. They're talking about the face, the man that you know you think of when you think of as Jesus. That's what they're talking. That's the man that they're talking about here. It's like the he didn't know that, but the words that he spoke Lemageton were chaos from chaos. Of course, or of chaos. Was to be expected, for those were the words of Yeshua. Which I remember correctly, Yeshua is the Hebrew name of Jesus. Again, I'm an atheist. I was raised Lutheran. I was raised Lutheran Christian, but I am an atheist now. To protect the universe from dissipation, I created an organization to manage and watch over those words. He created the Christian church, yeah. That's Ormus's true objective. Except they don't call it the Christian church because they don't want to completely piss people off, so they call it Ormus. Not just the words. But also the artifacts of God passed down from ancient times. The vessels of anima, etc. But this also is implying that Wilhelm is at least 6,000 years old. All of them are beyond human control. Are you saying our devout wish to return to lost Jerusalem is all a lie? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Rude, Wilhelm. You needed words, faith, to define who you are. What were you planning on doing once you returned to that place? It disappeared because it was fated to. Because of human action. Then all we've done so far, all we've worked for, was meaningless? It wasn't meaningless. As long as you, yourself, believe it wasn't meaningless. <laughs> I... <laughs> After all, that's why I've continued to exist. Hi, Kevin! Hi, Voyager! <laughs> Now what will you do, Margulis? You must make a decision that will define who you are. Will you leave this place? Or... I... I... Yes. You are a man who has lived a life without regret. You truly are a worthy actor to decorate the final stage. God, Wilhelm, he has such a... Literally, he, ha he has a... For lack of a better term, he has such a god complex. He has such a god complex. He's like, I'm saving the universe. Hey, you fuck. Alive? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, what's left of us? I'm in fact a living corpse. <laughs> Can you tell where we are? Let me connect to the database here. It may still be alive. We're 12 kilometers Fucking hell? from the city. There should be a spaceport nearby. Can you detect the Zohar? There's no sign of it. But there's high-density Gnosis activity in the center of the city. Gnosis? Hmm. Could the source of this planet's anomaly be located there? Obviously, Jen. <laughs> Probably. Before Albedo went to sleep, he told me that the Zohar and Abel were transferred to Mictum by someone's will. So he told me to go there. Captain, sorry, but the Elsa better wait here. Don't wait for us if anything happens. Follow Yuli's instructions. Are you sure, little master? You'll all have to look out for yourselves. We won't have any leeway. The rest of us will leave the port in ESs and head for the city. <laughs> I love how Jeter's taking charge for the first fucking time. <laughs> like, what's not, in this game in particular, what's not impressed on the player is the fact that Junior is in charge. The game is about mostly Shion, but Junior is the one who's in charge. He's the boss of the Elsa. He is the mo he's like the monetary funds for the entire operation and everything that happens. <laughs> Junior is party leader, even if the story is mostly about Shion. <laughs> Ormus is here too, so don't let your guard down. What? I'm going too? Yeah, because we need you for a plot device later. <laughs> you got something to do here? We don't know what we're gonna run into. And Shion isn't looking good, so give her the support she needs. Rude. <laughs> She's right there, Peter, bro. <laughs> you'll support Jin. Hey, 
Hey, Kanan, what's wrong? Hmm? Uh, it's nothing. Understood. He's thinking about Project Kanan. I've only been recording for 10 minutes. Black Sun is phenomenal, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fuck it, fine. <laughs> I'll do it. Um. I appear to be unable to run. Oh, because I'm using the direction pack. God damn <laughs> Hi, Miyuki! <laughs> I've been recording Kadelka for a review on my other channel, and so I'm so used to running around with the directional button right now. <laughs> instead of... <laughs> instead of the uh, analog stick. <laughs> Hey, you haven't been keeping in touch at all. I know you've been busy, but I've been thinking about you guys too. Especially Shion. Are you even listening? Developed the ultimate weapon for you, Shion. I called the Miyuki Special. But I need a geocrystal to make that weapon, so I borrowed one from the company. It'd be kind of bad to leave it missing, so you think you can give me one from somewhere to get back to the company? If you bring me one, I'll give you the Miyuki, the Miyuki Special in return. I'll be waiting for your answers. See ya. I think I, I already have a rough geocrystal. Bruh. I think. Right? Right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I just have- yeah, I just had to get and, like, re-trigger it. Oh, a rough geocrystal, you got it! But the geocrystal I bought from the company was pure. I can't use a rough geocrystal. Oh, I know! Isn't there a crystal-obsessed droid aboard the Elsa? I bet if you ask that droid, it might turn that geocrystal in pure form. You almost got your Muki special. Hang in there. First, it looks like you're working hard, so I'll give this a blah 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 blah. Brzingamin. Okay. What a sword for Jin. I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh at that sword for Jin because of what Brzingamin is. No, it's not. Okay. Who is it? What is it? What's it for? What's it for? Come on. Let me guess. Is it armor for Shion? No. What is it? Is it, is it a necklace? Oh, it is. <laughs> Large G rare on Ooh. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> Cosmos can have Brisingamen. Um if you want to know the story about Brisingamen, look up um Norse mythology. It's a story from Norse mythology about a beautiful necklace that, oh god, which goddess was it who really, really coveted this necklace and slept with a bunch of dwarves to get it, and it pissed off Odin of that she slept with a bunch of dwarves to get it? <laughs> and so he took it away, or and so he, well, and so he bullied Loki into taking it away. It's complicated. For some reason it feels like a place where you can be at peace. Sort of. That's not what I'm looking for. Where's the geo- I found the geocrystal guy already. I just can't remember where on the Elsa he is. <laughs> Hello? Geocrystal, bro. Geocrystal, bro. Hey, look, a bunch of randos. What you doing? You chilling? Oh, there are people from the Durandal. Okay. Yeah, about the accessory called Heaven's Door, the little master had? No. Blah, 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay. I know what that's about. That's uh, side questing shit that I'm not gonna record. I, s I found this one! I found it before. <laughs> Walking around. Which one is it? Is it you, Bunny? No. It's not that Bunny. Hello? I just wanna get. I mean, it's Shion. I don't give a shit about Shion, but. Hi, Mary. Thanks to the nano treatment, you got shot in the stomach. The fact that you're alive is kind of shocking. Like, you should be dead. You should be really dead. You super dead. Super. Oh, I know. I think it was in one of these rooms. Yeah. I can't remember the girl one or the boys one. Was it you? Oh, okay, so it wasn't you. Is it you? Ah! 
It is you. Come here. Yay! <laughs> I need something to do. <laughs> so I want to be cutting the video at like only 15 minutes. Even though I've done that for this series already, but most of the time I've been recording for half an hour to an hour. It just ends up getting cut down to like 15, 20 minutes because I'm cutting out battles where I'm not commentating. Okay, Miyuki, give me the weapon. Got the Pure crystal, blah, 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 blah. Transfer the Miyuki special. Cool. Thanks, Miyuki. How's the Damarong doing? No, you're not even going to mention the fact that the Damarong is dead in the water and you might need some help. <laughs> no? I... Why do I even have Shion in my party? I never have Shion in my party. <laughs> it's Shion. <gasps> Hold on, we need to fix this. It's going to bug me. Everything is right with the world. <laughs> Ooh. Well, at this point I'll be working on getting their ultimate weapons. So this is slightly less, less useful. We'll get the ES equipment first. Ooh. Yes, please. Get you that. Do that. I'll cut this out. Alright, I did some ES shopping. Let's get a little bit of cutscene action going. Aw. <laughs> I wanted to so dance. This is Mictum. Yep! It is a land of atonement for mankind. This entire world is like a tombstone. Rude. I don't, I don't remember if they ever actually explained. In-game. I know they explained in the database, but I don't think they ever actually explained in-game exactly why Mictum got destroyed. I mean, they did it for Milsha. Yeah, what, you right, Ziggy? What is it, old man? Getting scared? No, but Ziggy's from Mictum, sort of? It's complicated. <laughs> no, it's nothing. There's a lot of noise. The sensors don't seem to be working well. What's with you guys? You and Kanan are both acting weird. Get a grip, okay? It's because Kanan is actually from Ziggy's past and Ziggy doesn't realize that because he had a different face back then. <laughs> Sorry. I'm fine. And they're both from Mictum. As is Kevin. But they're from Mictum a hundred years ago, which is before Mictum got blooted up. Because Mictum got blooted up before Milsha, obviously. I can't remember... It wasn't 15, because 15 years ago was Milsha. So it was like... I don't know, 20 or something? Something stupid? <laughs> I didn't do it! Oh, it's these jokers again! Oh, no. You can't go barging into other people's homes uninvited. That voice! You bastards are still alive? Apparently. Of course. Our role is to deliver punishment to you heretics. I... So, you still haven't gotten tired of getting your butts kicked, huh? <laughs> My, you certainly talk big for trespassers. Be grateful that the punishment of your heresy will take place here in the Ormus Holy Land. I... It's above and beyond the honor that should be bestowed on someone like you. I thought the Holy Land was lost Jerusalem. <laughs> Are you so moved that you're trembling? No. The already. Let's fight. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We will. For your sentence is death. I. I didn't upgrade their weapon. I didn't upgrade their armor, though. So there's that, at least. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> Just give me a minute to completely destroy these guys. Dead? Yep, dead. Okay. If I can rest here, I'll have no regrets. <laughs> Well, maybe you should, like, not try and kill me? That'd be... I mean, I wouldn't have attacked you if you didn't try to kill me, bruh. Oh! 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 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, that that that's Voyager, I think. I think that's Voyager's craft. I can't remember. <laughs> yes. That yes. Before. That's Voyager's because it's black. Is it a testament? It's the testament, Ziggy. It looks like he's taunting us to follow it. Now it's time for the small portion of this game that's all about Ziggy and his trauma. <laughs> no, seriously, it is pretty much all about Ziggy and his trauma. But I'm gonna leave that for the next episode because, I mean, we had a little mini boss fight right there and I've got the Elsa right here. It's perfect time for me to go and do some off-screen grinding and shit. My name is Ms. Crowd Tanger and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.